Welcome back to Massfield Father's Day. It's the perfect time for homemade gifts like this one. So now we're joined by Tomas Black from the new Green Gates Pottery in Leverett to show us how to make wind chimes. Tomas, great to have you back on Massfield. Good to see you guys. How's your spring going? Good? It's going good. Yeah, it's I warm. Good. It's nice. I thought it was summer. You're right. It is well, it's still it's, spring. If it's warm and windy, that's perfect for wind chimes, right? That's true. <laughs> Come on. They'll be jangling can't, all can't summer long. It. Can't beat it. So how do we get started making these? So just like we always do here on Mass Appeal, we start with a ball of clay and your trusty old rolling pin. Two things that people have at and home. And what we want to do is basically roll your ball of clay out into a flat slab. Looks which, something like that. Yeah, which then allows you to use cookie cutters if you have them at home. So I brought in a few here. I got a dog because I figured all do dads like dogs. That's true. And then a, a nice little circle. And these are really nice because you can cut the circle out and then you can write little mementos on them like Happy Father's Day or Love, like the one that's up there. Or you can turn it into a nicer. baseball too, throw some stitches in there. Baseball, basketball, anything like that's good. And then anything every want, dad right? is a superstar, so you need to have a star. <laughs> of course you do. You know? And if you don't have these, I infer you could probably go online and search for a cutout and you could probably cut it out yourself yeah, and you create can, a sense. You can definitely just take a piece of paper and even just hand draw an image on it, lay the paper right on the clay, mm -hmm. and then just take some sort of sharp knife or like a pin tool like this one and just trace that image and it cuts it out. The other thing you can do too is if you don't even want to go that far, I just threw this one together, but if you really love your dad, <laughs> you really should mold a little head of him. You know, every you, every father wants a miniature head of themselves. And that that's a great little flattered. like center chain for the, yeah, the actual that's wind awesome. chime. Look at this, it's amazing. So those are really fun and those are really easy and at that point you don't even need cookie cutters. You can just hand sculpt it all, which is if, really if only good. we could actually do this. This seems like an advanced maneuver. Oh right here, no, Tomas. really does, easy. Does really your dad look like Seth? Uh no. I think that might even sort of look like me. I don't know. Minus it's, the beard. It's an every man. It's an every man. It's an every yeah. man. Yeah. So let's Let's get started. All right, let's, let's cut let's out some cookies. cookies. Okay, so if you guys want to start doing some cookie cutting here, okay. you're just going to go ahead and press them in, and then we're going to lift them once they're pressed in, and you just should be able to lift it straight up and out. And all if right. it stays stuck in there, all you want to do is just tear the clay a little. It's be very and dainty. Just sort of lift your star out from in there. Now, do we have to put these in our oven? How does one make them hard so that they can then take the next step and go on to this? Okay, so right after you cut them out, what you want to do is you want to have some sort of pin-like device. A nail, or in this case, a pin tool works really well. So you don't have to go and buy these things at the store. No, you can do it with no. stuff the, you have at home. The beautiful thing is, like, yeah. everything that I built it with are nails and washers, and a, um, I use a clothes hanger to actually make the frame. And then I just brought some thread in that I had laying around. But Dad the, wouldn't want it any other way. Yeah, and the most important <laughs> thing though is to remember before you bake it or dry it is just to put a hole in it. So that way you give yourself something to tie your rope to. Mm. Right. So that is that is a step number one most important after cutting your shape out. Okay. And then once that's all cut out, you know, you can use the self-drying clay or you can get the, the oven baked clay. Once it's hard, then you can go ahead and just paint it with some acrylic paint. How long does it take the, the self-drying clay? How long does that take? The self-drying clay takes up a couple hours. Oh, so quick. to be honest, bad. you know, you're gonna have a few other steps involved with making the actual loop frame. And that's where the, the coat hanger comes in. That's the coat hanger, and then actually getting the chiming parts, so like the little bits of metal are what actually makes your the oh, metal makes, hitting on each other. The metal music, hitting your chimes. So nails are a great inexpensive option. And most people have them laying around. And then, you know, things like washers. You know, these come from like everything and they fall out of things all the time. So That's washers true. are almost always in everyone's home. Find them in your house, yeah. And then, you know, what I decided to do for my center thing, for my chime to actually make it so that it sounds good, is I just took a spoon and I just simply just bent it in half. And just I, like that. And then that's a perfect so way to chime. Yeah. Yeah, and then when you have the actual chime together, you know, once that spoon sort of jingles and hits it, you have a really beautiful sound. Yeah, give it a little sound. Yeah. Can you show us how you bent that coat hanger to get like yeah, that? Yeah, so what you want to do is just a standard steel coat hanger, mm -hmm. and then you just a standard pair of needle nose pliers, and they all have little metal cutters in them. Just snip through. And then the trick to actually get the clothes hanger to become round is they all have corners, so we're going to want to straighten our corners out. So we get this nice, long piece of straight steel. And then what you actually want to do is just take it and start up by the hook and give yourself sort of a little hang room, put a bend in it. And then you're just going to use your thumb and you're just going to lightly turn and just move your thumb it. down the line and it slowly but surely will make this into a rounded shape. Now, which nice. is what we're going for here for making our actual wind chime frame. And now if people are doing this at home with their kids, they should probably do that part. They should do the snipping and the bending, but I don't know. You know, if, if you have like a 10-year-old or something, they probably have enough strength to yeah. bend a little piece of metal like this. Well, Tomas, this is great. The wind chime looks beautiful. Thank you so much for no showing problem, us how to guys. make it. It's great to be with you. Yeah, and I hope everyone has a good Father's Day. Hopefully, you can make your father a great wind chime. <laughs> yeah. So we'll continue making it. Happy yeah. early I'll Father's keep Day, everyone. On it. Cool. <laughs>